Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JEE and NEET prep tool being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, take a look at this actual NEET question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post your answer in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video. Let us study about centripetal acceleration. The body is moving in a circular motion like this so from the side angle. This is the axis. The particle P moves in a circle. Linear velocity or tangential velocity is along the tangential direction. Centripetal acceleration is directed towards the center. Angular velocity omega is along the axis. So first point for centripetal acceleration. Acceleration acting on the object due to the change in direction of the velocity in uniform circular motion as well as in non-uniform circular motion is called centripetal acceleration. Second, it always acts on the object along the radius towards the center of the circular path. It is directed along the radius towards the center of the circular path. It is called center seeking acceleration. Magnitude of centripetal acceleration or radial acceleration is V square by R or it also can be written as R omega square. Omega value we know 2 pi n. It can be written as 4 pi square n square R square or in terms of time period it is 4 pi square by T square into R. The direction of centripetal acceleration it's always the same, directed toward the center, correct? Always it is perpendicular to the velocity vector as shown here. This is the center seeking acceleration. So omega is in one direction, omega is in this direction, centripetal acceleration is in this direction, tangential velocity is in this direction. We can also write the centripetal acceleration as AC is equal to omega cross V by right hand thumb rule. So centripetal acceleration will be omega cross V for anti-clockwise rotation. This center seeking acceleration we call it as called centripetal acceleration. So again we will take it for anti-clockwise rotation. Centripetal acceleration AC is equal to omega cross V. This acceleration is called centripetal acceleration of the particle at point P. It acts along the radius toward the center. According to right hand rule, omega cross V should give us the centripetal acceleration. Omega and V are always perpendicular. Therefore, the magnitude of centripetal acceleration is equal to omega cross V magnitude. That's omega V sine 90. Or centripetal acceleration can be written as omega into V or omega V can also be written as omega R. So we can also write this as omega square R or we can write omega as V by R into V. This can be also written as V square by R. So for anti-clockwise rotation, centripetal acceleration is omega cross R. So when a body is in rotation, side view we will take it again. Particle at this instant of time it is here. This is point P. Omega is along the axis. Linear velocity is along tangent. This is V vector. Then centripetal acceleration is in this direction. This is AC vector. So centripetal acceleration in this direction. V vector in this direction. Omega vector will be in this direction. Omega cross R by right hand thumb rule should be equal to AC. Stretch the finger at omega. Curl it towards V. The thumb gives you the direction of acceleration as shown in this figure. Omega is along the stretched fingers. We curl it towards V. When it's curled towards V, this is the direction of centripetal acceleration. So Omega cross V gives us centripetal acceleration. Now Omega is in this direction. V is inside. See, omega in this direction. It curled fingers is towards V. Omega cross V 
thumb gives the direction of centripetal acceleration. This is the direction of thumb. You can also try start from omega, curl the finger towards V, thumb gives you the direction of centripetal acceleration. Look at the figure again. Right? Did you follow the direction? This is by right hand thumb rule. Omega cross V. Omega in this direction. Omega cross V. Right hand. Omega cross V gives the direction of centripetal acceleration. So here also if we take omega cross V, centripetal acceleration. This center seeking acceleration is AC equal to V square by R or omega square R or omega into V. In anticlockwise rotation, in vector form, it can be written as AC is equal to omega cross V. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question shown at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEAT prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of our product before buying.